use Artist Brie sublimation paint on their tea towel, which is the blank of the month this month. So first of all, I just mix some paint. These paints you can mix as well as add the lightning medium. And I wanted to make some pastel colors in this case. So I just mix the paints to the colors I desired. And then I made a watercolor effect on a large sheet of paper. Just adding water to the paper, then adding the paints all over the paper. I love making a large sheet of paper like this while I have my paints out and then I can cut it to different sizes later. But first you will need to dry that sublimation print that you've just made. I just hovered my heat press over it for a few minutes and then I used my Sizzix to cut some circles. You can do this with a Cricut machine as well, but the Sizzix was handy and I had some circle dies. Now that I have a variety of circles, you just add them to your sublimation tea towel and tape them down. Be sure to lint roll your towel before you start this and then heat press each area using protective paper both on the top as well as the bottom. I'm using my Cricut Auto Press, but the Cricut Easy Press or any heat press will work. Then your sublimation tea towel is ready for a gift or to keep for yourself. Like, comment, and follow for more.